Davidson. We're here at the 2018 NRA show. Um, we've pushed out. We're launching three brand new lines here at the show. This is the first time the public's seen these. Had a lot of excitement about it. Uh, these are additions to our honey line. We're starting out with Prime, moving up to Nitro, and then Forge. These are all new optics, new designs. We engineered them here in the United States. Uh, real focus on clarity and brightness and low light performance. Um, the optical designs, again, are new. We've also incorporated features that people have been asking for as we've seen more of a tactical crossover. Um, so like in our Forge line, which is the top of the line, we've incorporated throw levers. Uh, we have zero stop turrets, uh, really good glass again, uh, 30 millimeter tubes in the in the forge and the nitro, and then one inch tubes in the prime. Um, popular configurations, new reticles, mill-based reticles, and MOA-based reticles. Um, just really exciting, over a hundred new optics this year for Bushnell, so it, there's a lot to digest. In all three of these lines, we have rifle scopes, we have binoculars, uh, and we have spotting scopes, and then we also have have some new range finders on the way as well for each line. So it's it's a huge launch for Bushnell. Really excited. We've had a lot of good feedback on them already. Um, and you'll start seeing them in stores within a month. In June, we'll have them out. Hey, thanks, Jake. Yeah. Hey, can you give us a, a quick can you zoom in from one of mine on a couple yeah. of the, sure. the Forge line? Specifically, I guess, for our a lot of our segment, I think we're interested in like, uh, we have a lot of crossover guys. Yeah. So, you know, the you know, first focal plane, mill mill. Yep. So what, what are kind of some of our options there and the, and the various power ranges, you know, so three to teams, Yep. Whatever, whatever you got. Yep. So we uh first So we've got uh are you so wrong? Okay, so this is uh, this is the Forge. This is kind of the crossover scope where we brought a lot of the technology that we've developed in our tactical line, our elite tactical with the DMR2 or the LRTS. A lot of the things people were looking for there. We've got our quick throw lever, um, really handy for when you're looking at game. You wanna you wanna zoom in, and then the game moves, and you have to find it. Um, zero stop for taking long shots. Uh, this one is in a three to eighteen configuration. Uh, we also have. Uh, configurations all the way up to uh, our uh, four and a half to 27. Um, really cool color feature on this. This is called our terrain color. You can see the inlays are actually built into the scope. Um, and then again, zero stop, really easy to adjust turrets, 30 millimeter tubes. Reticles, we have MOA version reticles and we also have mill hash uh, reticles. And then um, we also have first and second focal plane options. So you can go you can go with what you think suits you best. Okay, cool. All right, looks interesting. Can't wait to check some out. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. So new for this year, we actually launched a shot and we brought it to NRA as uh, uh, Night Force came out with a couple of one to eight offerings. So this right here is the NX8 offering. It's in the 30 millimeter tube. Um, basically, people that are familiar with Night Force products probably know our NXS series and uh, and also our ATAC R series. So what we've done here with this NX8 is kind of a, an, an extension of our NXS offering. 30 millimeter tube. Uh, we have daylight visible dot reticle, which is something that we hadn't offered previously. We've always had low light illumination, but uh, with this offering here, this daylight visible dot has allowed people to utilize this in three gun competition, uh, certain PRS style matches. It's been a big hit for us. This is a great offering at a retail price point of like $17.50. So very compact, very short, uh, very lightweight. I think we're at 17 ounces with this optic. So I think this is going to be a hit for us this year. Um, has so far. Along with that, we also developed our uh, ATAC R 1 to 8. This is a 34 millimeter tube utilizing the ED glass, so kind of stayed uh, in the same theme as our ATAC R line in the, in the larger scopes. Uh, we also have the daylight visible um, reticle with this, so same thing. Uh, it's just kind of like a 
the same difference you would see between the NXS series and the larger scopes. Um, you're getting that with this. It's, this is an ATAC R with the capped windage, capped elevation, but you take this off, you still have your exposed target turrets underneath. And uh, yeah, with the ED glass, a little bit larger field of view with this model, uh, a little bit longer, it's a little bit heavier, coming in about, I think, 26, 27 ounces like that, but uh, but you're using a little bit more dense glass with the ED glass. So uh, I'm really excited about these offerings this year. Um, the 1 to 8 market has been uh, asking us, I'd say the one power optic, uh, has been asking us for an offering similar to this for a long time, and I think we knocked it out of the park this year, so, yeah. All right, so we spent a lot of time engineering very crisp and precise adjusters for the new long-range rifle scopes. So uh, for the 4.5 to 30 models, the increments are uh, calibrated in one quarter MOA or one tenth of a miller radian. Uh, they do have a zero stop or function which we call return to zero allowing you to dial up and dial back down and, and quickly uh, getting back to zero. We've tested this out to uh, extreme uh, range uh, out to a mile and it has performed. It is very repeatable uh, so you can uh, trust the accuracy of the, uh, and the crispness of the increments and the repeatability. Hey, Ryan Wood here, Senior Product Manager at Trigicon, and uh, today I've got our new long-range offering. We actually have introduced three new long-range rifle scopes uh, here at the NRA annual meeting. What I'm holding is our 4.5 to 30 by 56. This particular model is a first focal plane. Uh, so, first thing we did is we built this rifle scope using extra low dispersion glass. That's going to help minimize chromatic aberration uh, and give you really true to life color and resolution, especially uh, important at long range uh, for long range shooting. Uh, this model has a 34 millimeter tube. Uh, which, uh, besides increasing durability and ruggedness, also gives you 100 MOA of travel in elevation and 50 MOA of travel in windage. This has a repositionable magnification lever, uh, so it can be positioned at both the 11 o'clock and the 1 o'clock uh, positions, uh, so it can accommodate a variety of uh, rifle designs as well as firing positions. There is a combined red and green uh, illumination, uh, so you have five brightness settings for green with an off between each, and five brightness settings for red with an off uh, between each. 56 millimeter objective increases your exit pupil, so uh, you're going to especially allow this uh, allows this uh, rifle scope to perform in low light shooting. 56 millimeter objective, three inch sunshade, um, and so that's really the, the, the features that are important to uh, this particular model. Now this is a first focal plane model, and uh, it comes in two uh, options for reticles. Both are holdover reticles, uh, the classic Christmas tree style, uh, available both in MOA and millirate. We also have a second focal plane version, uh, same feature set uh, in the second focal plane, and those reticles also an MOA and miller radian, uh, but those are milling reticles, so a little more of a uncluttered uh, view, and uh, we think that'll be especially popular uh, for those folks that uh, prefer a second focal plane. Then finally, we have a five to fifty. And this is really the, the flagship um, of the long range, uh, the new long range line. Uh, same features of the four and a half to 30, um, but now it's a five to 50 uh, by 56. So even bigger uh, zoom range with a 10X erector. Really appreciate you uh, uh, taking a look at this and we look forward to uh, shipping this. So these are our new forged binoculars to pair with the rifle scopes and the, and the spotter. Um, really good set of binoculars. They're lightweight. Uh, this is the 10 by 42 configuration, ED prime glass. These, along with all of our new optics, have our new exo barrier, which is a hydrophobic, oilophobic coating that resists fogging, resists water, um, and, and water will beat up, and you can actually see through it if, even if you have rain or water on the scope um, or the binocular. These are available in a 10 by 30, we've got an eight and a 10 by 42, and then we, all, we have our big one, if you step over here, um, this is our uh, 15 by 56. So this is kind of taking the place of a spotting scope, and you can mount it on a tripod, 
or you can take it to the field. It's uh, it's a really kind of a growing niche in the industry is the very high power binoculars. Uh, so we have a forge available in that as well. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So I'm Jake Edson here with Bushnell at uh, the NRA convention 2018. We've got our new DMR2 Pro rifle scope. This is a uh, this is our elite long range rifle scope. It's a very compact rifle scope. It has a very generous eye relief. Um, it's actually a, a straight take on our popular DMR2. This one, the Pro, is upgraded to ED Prime glass. So it, it has all the features that people have been using on the tournament trail for years. Upgraded the glass, give you even better viewing, clearer image um, for about $300, $350 more on the street. So this is, this is brand new for this year as well. Awesome, thank you. I'm John Chapman from Forge Tactical for Beretta. I'm here to talk about Beretta's new APX offerings uh, that we just released here at the NRA annual meeting. The first one I'd like to talk about is the APX Centurion. The Centurion, uh, like all the APXs, uses the same APX chassis. It's interchangeable across the entire APX family. Uh, what we've done with this gun is we've shortened the grip. Uh, the full-size APX holds uh, 17 rounds. The Centurion holds 15. Uh, and we've shortened the slide in the barrel just slightly. Uh, the purpose of the Centurion is to have a kind of one-size-fits-all uh, for the APX. This can be both a duty gun and a concealment gun. Uh, we wanted to make the gun still shootable uh, at full performance, but still be able to conceal. So it has all the features of the full-size APX <clears throat> with 15 round capacity and a slightly shorter barrel. So this is the APX Centurion. We've also just released at the show the APX Compact. Uh, the Compact has the same size slide as the Centurion, but as everybody knows, uh, what creates concealment is not length of the slide, but the length of the grip. So for the compact, uh, we've taken the Centurion slide and reduced the grip a little bit further. Uh, this has a 13 round capacity, uh, uses a different magazine, but all of the APX magazines are compatible across the family. So this will still take full size APX magazines. Uh, with a capacity of 13 rounds, uh, has all the features of the full-size APX in exactly the same place. Uh, the grip girth is the same, uh, the trigger length of pull is the same, everything is exactly the same as your full-size APX, so there's no uh, discommonality of training between your full-size range gun and your compact carry gun. Everything feels exactly the same because it's in the same place. So again, we have the Beretta APX Centurion for the midsize and the compact for the for the CCW market. I'm John Chapman, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Philip Jones here with uh, Beretta USA uh, at the NRA show in uh, 2018 here in Dallas. Here to walk you through a new product line that we have, which is Victrix Rifles. Uh, built in Northern Italy in Bergamo, um, it's a great story. It started off on the bench rest competition side with our founder, Giuseppe Valtorta, who built his own bench rest gun, who uh, won a gold medal at Bisley in the UK with his, his rifles. Consequently, everybody wanted him to build him one. So then we moved over onto the tactical side. And what we have here is a full display of our tactical rifles. We go here from a short barrel 308. 16 inch called the Puccio. All of our guns are named after Roman weapons, uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, we go through the Scorpio, which uh, goes to our bigger calibers uh, 300 Win Mag, 300 Norma Mag, uh, 338 Lapua. We have the Gladio available 6.5 Creedmoor and 308, so for those long range competitions, it's a great gun. And then we get up into the ELR guns, and here we have the Tormentum. Uh, that's available in 375 Shaytac and 408 Shaytac. And here at the show, we're also launching the Corvus, which is our new 50 BMG. Uh, and that gun is uh, set to be a real monster. So lots of exciting products here at the Beretta booth at uh, NRA. Thank you. Hey, it's Todd Jarrett with Blackhawk. Um, I want to introduce you to our new multi-point sling for 2018. Essentially, this is a sling that's adaptable for almost any style of AR. 
Um, it has any types of connectors on them from an H and K mount to um, an Eagle mount all the way up to the QD mount. So uh, what we're trying to, trying to accomplish here is that we're taking a two point um, sling on the market out there and we're turning this into a single point so our friends in law enforcement who have the ability to be able to sit inside a vehicle, vehicle it makes it much easier for them to get in and out of a single point. But the key thing is, is our slider allows us to be able to lock in place and lock in that position depending on body armor or anything that I might be able to transition with left side or weak side on the range. So the multi-point sling, there are nine different versions of them. We have two different colors. And the key thing here is that if you're looking for the one sling that's going to fit your box at home, check out the multi-point sling at blackhawk.com. It's my favorite of all the slings on the market today, and um, I truly enjoy it. Hey, it's Todd Jarrett here, showing some new products here at the Blackhawk booth. Essentially, we have a brand new flip-up sights this year. It is a hard... Um, uh, plastic that we're using is extremely hard, but all of our components, our sights and everything are actually metal. But the key thing about it is, if you've always had a problem trying to adjust your front sights, what we've done here is that we actually put clicks, it's all hand done on the front sight. So everything you're used to in a standard uh, A2 sight out there is there. Also on the back sight, what we've done is, we also got hand adjustments to allow you to be able to adjust your windage. Both your aperture sight, you can actually flip that from your small to your large, but we also using a small magnet in order to do that. 300, um, 300 uh, mag rated, no issues at all with that. But it's a simple, light, really nice, easy, be able to have a nice uh, flip up sights for the guys who are looking for something for backups. Hey guys, it's Adam here from Hollow Sun. Right here we have the 507, and this is our new pistol red dots. You guys have seen that the green one, or the red one is out, the green one is shortly following. And this is a industry standard cut. This has 100,000 hours of battery life. You have three reticle options. So you have a dot, two MOA dot, a 32 MOA ring, or a 32 MOA ring with a two MOA dot. Uh, this has so the 100,000 hour battery life. You also have your solar panel on top. So even if your battery does run dry, your solar panel will be able to kick in and run your optic as is. This guy is retailing for the red one for three, or sorry, $299 for red and $329 for the green. This guy is ready to go out of the box and includes a Picatinny mount as well. So be on the lookout for him and we hope to see you shooting one. Hey guys, it's Adam here at Hollow Sun, and we're checking out the uh, five, sorry, the 510C and the 403 GL. So our 510C is one of our flagship uh, optics here. This comes in both a red and green reticle, has 50,000 hours of battery life. It also has a built-in solar panel right here. So if you print change your battery after five years, your solar will kick in as your battery dies and run the optic. You still have all three reticle options. So you have the two MOA dot, the 65 MOA ring, or you have the 65 MOA ring with the two MOA dot. Changing of those is as simple as holding down your minus button for 10 seconds, and you'll see it go to the next one. And if you want to use only solar because you're against batteries, you hold on your plus sign for 10 seconds and you go to only solar mode. Your option. $299 for our red version and $329 for our green. Comes with the hood and you can even get a titanium hood form as well. We also sell a $15 riser mount in case you want to have it set up a little bit higher. Uh, QD mount comes standard on it as well. So you're really getting everything you need out of the box, high quality, high end optic for $299 or $329. We also have for the fans of this type of a body of a, uh, a micro dot, our 403 G, uh, GL, which has your battery component on the side, still a slim profile. Your battery caps right here can be turned upside down and used to click for your adjustments. And these guys are just around the $200 mark. Still a 50,000 hour battery life, just no solar panel on top. Uh, this one has just a dot as well, but you can get it in green or red. Thanks guys. Hey, this is Zach with CZ USA here at NRA Show 2018, uh, showing off our Scorpion S2 suppressor. Yeah. So uh, Scorpion's been all the rage. We've been been doing a lot of things with Scorpions from our carbines, our pistols, do the, the new micro. Um, basically, this uh, S2 can is purpose built to go with that micro. So it's built around a four inch barreled Scorpion. It's a nine mil can. You can have it stainless or titanium, uh, built with a, a reflex. So it uses up all that extra space all the way back to the action. Uh, 
Uh, and basically, you can see a 10 decibel uh, decrease in uh, output compared to kind of a, the <laughs> some of the more popular micro cans on the market. So, um, MSRP is $5.99 for the stainless, uh, $9.29 for the titanium. Uh, so, if you want more info on it, head over to cz-usa.com. Um, but yeah, kind of the beginning of the suppressors. This is what got us into them, and uh, we're just expanding all the time. So rim fire, center fire. Uh, we've got a couple different for the for the scorpion and more planned. So yeah, check it out. This is our new Collis uh, 525. It's going to be a 525 power. It's going to be released in August. Um, some of the upgrades from the 624 of the size and power range is we do have a larger elevation turret. And we have uh, more robust upgraded internals. And as you see right here, for some of the guys shooting PRS, there's been complaints about bumping or actually turning your windage. It now has a free spinning outside edge that will absorb that. Uh, these will still come with all your standard reticles, uh, skimmer 1, skimmer 3, as well as AMR and additional MSRs. Uh, but this is uh, really great. We also have the new 3 to 18. <laughs> this is our 3 to 18 power. Again, all of these are going to be first focal mill mill, the mill rating and turrets, also with the uh, windage. As you can see, this is going to be a much more compact scope. 3 to 18 compared to the 5 to 25. And this 3 to 18 is going to be just simply awesome on a gas gun, hunting rifle, and even for a long range rifle, 18 power is still absolutely plenty enough. Um, the same features you have with the 624 is going to be the 30 to 18. You've got the uh, oversized elevation turret as well as a parallax right here below. And on this side is going to be your illumination. But uh, check them out, they're great optics. And uh, again, this is Collis 3 to 18. Hello and welcome to Trigger Tech. We're, uh, we've been around for about five years and we have invented a new technology that is revolutionizing the trigger industry. Our technology, rather than relying on sliding friction, has a roller in the middle which eliminates the friction between the engagement of the, of the critical engagements. Why this is important is friction is bad. Contamination, metal, polishing, all of these things can affect your trigger pull, the safety of the trigger, and uh, and the performance. With the roller, it eliminates all of these and we can design a zero creep brake. So right here, we have a REM 700. This is our best product right here. This is called the Diamond. We released this earlier, or at the end of last year. This trigger goes down to four ounces. And we can do that. And what's also great is we have a little set screw at the bottom here. And all of our REM 700s have a little adjustment feature that as you turn it, you hear clicks. And each click will give you about one ounce of increment. And our REM 700s at this time are all single stage, so when you pull the trigger, there's absolutely no creep or movement until the break. And they're very repeatable and very precise. So they take a lot of TLC. We have three main products on the REM 700 line. We have the primary, the special, and the diamond. And the, the primary is adjustable from one and a half to four, the special from one to three and a half, and the diamond from four, to four ounces to two pounds. This is our, what our product looks like in the store, so you can see what it is, all the information about our product and why it's better. And if you don't believe me, you can ask our pro shooters. Here at the 2017 PRS finale, seven of the top ten were using our diamond trigger to win the competition. And overall in the year, it was another seven people were on the top ten using the diamond. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your trigger. New from Steiner uh, here at the NRA show is uh, we got several new military uh, optics. Right here I'm holding the new M7XI which is a 4 to 28 uh, powered uh, military scope. Uh, it's offered in the G2B mil dot, the Tremor 3, as well as the um, new MSR2 reticle. Again, new from Steiner just uh, showing it here at the NRA in 2018. Another uh, new release is the 1 to 8, the MX, the M8 XI. Let me show that for you. Variable power, 1 to 8X. Um, got nice big turrets, exposed. Again, 1 to 8 in the military series. 
just came out here for NRA. We also have two new PRISM sites, the S432 and the S332. Uh, some of the special features on these PRISM sites, uh, one is three power, one is four. Uh, they have large eye relief and a really large um, field of view as well. Again, uh, released here in 2018 at the NRA show. Awesome, thank you. Yes, sir. Six hour. Uh, today we have our new BDX rifle scope and rangefinder system. Uh, BDX stands for Ballistic Data Exchange. Uh, we have five new rangefinders and four new rifle scopes on tap, and uh, they're all interconnected via Bluetooth essentially. So you can go into a free app that we have on the uh, app, Apple App Store on uh, the. All for Androids and everything. Uh, you'll be able to connect your, your rangefinder to your rifle scope. You'll be able to upload uh, multiple profiles, and then you can sync one profile at a time to your rifle or to your rangefinder. Uh, after you've done that, you can grab your rangefinder, range at any distance, and it's going to chirp over the uh, correct ballistic solution for your uh, rifle scope. So we don't have factory loads built into this, but you can, if you know your bullet, um, so exactly what bullet you have, there's a bullet library, it's an applied ballistics bullet library. Okay, so it's based on AB. Exactly, it's based okay. out of AB. Okay. And, um, and then based off your muzzle velocity, and it does all the math for you there. Okay. Uh, price points, uh, rifle scopes start at $4.99, then we have uh, $5.99, $6.99 in our four and a half to uh, 14 and then $7.99 in our six and a half to 20 uh, Price points start at $2.50 on the rangefinders and go all the way up to uh, $7.99 on the range on the uh, Kilo 2400. Uh, not new for the uh, for NRA. This was released at Shot Show. It's the SOCOM 1 to 6 uh, M5XI. It's a one to six that was designed for SOCOM. So it comes in coyote tan. You have closed turrets, illuminated reticle, and again, nice, short, compact, and lightweight variable power optic from Steiner. Hi, I'm Ryan uh, with CMMG, and I'm here to talk about our new launch on our Banshee and Def Can suppressors. The new line of Def Can suppressors was developed by CMMG to complement our full line of AR products from our short barrel rifles and pistols to our standard offerings and rifle length. These uh, suppressors are lightweight, affordable, and here uh, will be hearing safe when mounted. They're paired with a subsonic ammunition. All of our products come with our lifetime quality guarantee. Um, our subgun cans shown here in the 9mm pair with our Banshee is a all aluminum, full auto rated, uh, 32 decibels of hearing reduction. Our quick detach by lock system, you can see quick on, quick off with a quarter turn to keep make sure you don't have baffle strikes or lose your suppressor down range. Our rifle suppressors, such as our Def Can 2, uh, are rated for 5.56, 5.7x28, uh, or any other small projectiles. Full auto, Inconel and titanium, direct thread with our Belleville washer system to make sure that when you have a cold barrel and you fully secure this on, it does not walk off to lead to those unwanted baffle strikes. Uh, MSRPs on these are about $750 to $824. We also offer our Def Can 3, which is 7.62 rated, so 300 blackout, 7.62x30. 39 and um, 300 wind mag all the way to 308. Uh, solid titanium, good value at 825 to 900. And our last little suppressor that we offer is our Def Can 22, which is a fully serviceable suppressor, direct thread half 28, made to be um, cleanable, breakdown, and put back together for years of, and thousands of rounds of enjoyment from our, our for 22 LR. Uh, for any kind of questions, you can always contact CMMG or contact our tech support. I'm Arnold Von Bargen from US Optics, and I would like to um, do a little feature on our SVS 1 to 6. This is a true 1 to 6 power, 180 degree throw. It's got a stainless wire reticle in the second focal plane, eliminated 2MOA red dot. It has zeroing knobs in 2 tenths mil adjustment, 34 millimeter tube. 
and um, we've been working on this glass for approximately two years to get it to see as good as it does. It's probably the best in the industry with the latest glass types and coatings. Um, it is great for a three gun type optic and works very well. Um, Awesome. What is it going to retail for and what is it going to be available retail for? Pri retail price is $12.99 okay. and it will be available an end of June, mid-June. It's available for pre-order now here at, at the show, awesome. at the NRA show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.